Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Scorpio for July of 2018. Um, I am again this month offering the 12 free tarot card readings. Um, so if you want a chance to win a reading with me, I will be pulling the winners on July 20th. Um, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and comment on this video. Uh, these readings are good for your sun, moon, and rising signs, so you can cross-watch and comment on the other videos as well uh, to give yourself more of a chance to win. All right, so what I will say is what the hell is going on with you guys, all right? When I was shuffling the cards, I did get like you guys have your shit together, um, but then I also got that there's something that you're not seeing, and now I feel as though there might be something that you're not admitting to. Okay, um, the first card that you guys had was the Page of Wands, and then you had the Eight of Wands. So to me, there could be something offering, but what I'm really seeing here for you is like you're trying to be happy. You're trying to hear those birds singing, and you're taking action. And guys, you have three action cards here. So you are trying I will say you are trying and trying and trying to hear these birds sing. Um, so for some of you, again, this is a general reading. So for some of you, it could be, this could be traveling to maybe happiness. So like you might be taking a vacation um, in order to kind of rejuvenate yourself, to get that relaxation. Others of you, it's like you're taking action. Uh, these are wands. So this could be within business. So um, however that resonates with you, but right next to it, you have the action card. So it's time to take action. And then over here in the same row, take action, right? So you, I do feel as though you're feeling trapped and stuck and maybe a little bit on the defense. So it's like you want to take this action all in the same row. You've got action, action, action. So in the beginning of July, there might be a lot going on for you uh, within like the first two weeks of July. So there might be a lot going on for you. Um, but you also, at the same time, though, you're taking this action, you still might feel trapped and you might not be getting to where you want to go. Okay. But we'll move on. So the middle of July, though, it's like you've got the eight of cups here and it's like time to leave something behind, time to go on your way. But then you've got the knight of wands in reverse. And when I see this, it's like it, the knight is about taking action again, right, guys? So you've got a lot of action. But, um, let's see. So, but with it being reversed, it's actually moving forward. So going, I, I know it's backwards on the video, but so... This is facing the world card and the six of wands card. And so this is telling me that it's time to take action. And when you take action, you might have to leave something behind um, to get that happiness, to get that world, to get the recognition and the praise and the love that you're wanting, okay? That you might have to leave something behind in order to do that. Um, it might break your heart a little bit, all right? You got the three of swords here. So towards the end of July, and then... Again, this is kind of, this is a seven of swords and it's like, it's, le it's leaving something. It's like taking your swords and moving on, but it's like looking back as well. I see. Um, and the same thing here is like looking back. So it's like, you've got the uh, five of cups, which, you know, it's like, you've got two full cups in your hand, but you're looking and you're regretting about the three that are um, spilled on the floor. And then you've got the nine of pentacles. And this is where I said, what the heck is going on? Because... This tells me that you might leave a relationship behind because the nine of pentacles is all about independence and being single. Like that's my single card. I feel as though it might be the wrong choice because she's sitting here and she's bored. Um, in the very beginning of this reading, I did say to you, what are you missing? What are you missing? What is, what is it that you're not seeing? Um, I asked what you're leaving behind and I did get the wish card. <sighs> the reason I, I said what is going on, because I have you here being single, right? It's like leaving a relationship behind. Your heart breaks. It's like, was it the right thing to do? You're focusing and regretting on something, and then you're single here, but it's like you're bored. It's like, did I do the right thing? Um, over here, this is where it got confusing for me, is you got the daydream card and the wedding 
And these are the angel cards. And it says, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. And then you have the wedding card. And this says, marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. What I'm seeing here, and you do over here with the chakra cards, you have the workaholic card, and then you have the soulmate card, and then you have the instinct card. So these are chakra cards. So this is your throat chakra, and this is your crown chakra and your root chakra. And what this is telling me, yeah, the message that I'm getting here is that you want to run. You want to run because something else is going to make you happy. I was getting for some of you, there might be somebody that's kind of uh, enticing you. There might be somebody that, you know, you feel as though you could be happy with, that wish card here. There could be somebody around you that is, uh, because this is also could be a third party situation. So this is not your energy, it could be your partner's energy, but there could be somebody else around in your relationship um, that is enticing you, right? It's, it's um, you know, maybe trying to get you to take this action, maybe trying to get you to come over. Now, if it doesn't relate, relate, blah, relate to love, it could relate to work, but somebody is trying to get you or is um, courting you, right? And I feel as though you might be in a committed relationship right now, but you might be wishing for something because maybe the relationship you're not in right now is not fulfilling you. Maybe somebody's a workaholic, maybe they're not giving you the time, you feel trapped, and you feel defense, defensive. There's a soulmate energy here, though. So for some of you, I will say that you're going to regret taking the risk of this person that is trying to... Um, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to do. Like, they're, they're flirting with you. They, you know, they want you to go on a date with them. They want you to spend some time with them. They want you to forget about the other person. Some of you will regret that. The wish that you want is not going to be what you want it to be. Once you get there and you make that decision, it's not going to be what you want. Use your instinct. Use your instinct. What I'm getting is don't just don't go for that passion that is going to sizzle out real fast right? If you have a soulmate connection and you're married, you know, that what those wedding vows, like you might be daydreaming of this other person, wishing of this other person, this other opportunity that you have, if it relates to work or whatever it is, but don't be too quick to jump in bed with somebody else. Don't be too quick to, um, cut ties with somebody else or the work or your situation, whatever it is, because it might leave you lonely. It might leave you regretting. Use your instinct. Realize what you do have. You do have the angel answer cards here within the next few weeks. So whatever that question that you have in your head of when is this going to happen or within the next few weeks. So you might have this opportunity to make this decision to choose one way or the other. Um, it's all about action here. But make sure that the action you take is going to not leave you lonely and regretting what you had and realizing that what you jumped into um, might not be as, as good as what you had daydreamed about, okay? I hope that resonates with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and if you want your chance to win a free reading, again, I will be picking them on July 20th. So go ahead and just comment below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. All right, thank you so much. Much love to you. Um, take some time out to to really think about what you want, all right? Because you have the world card. Um, the, the thing you might have to leave behind is the wish, is the thought process, right? So sometimes we fantasize about how good something will be, but when we're in the reality of it, it might not be so great, all right? Others of you, I do feel as though 
You know, when you take that action, um, no, I'm getting just r remember your promises. Remember your promises. Don't hurt other people because uh, I think it'll only end up hurting yourself. All right. Much love to all of you. Bye.